Hey, Dave Fan here with the Body Firm Personal Training Fitness Boot Camps. How to go from discipline to habit fast. Why do some people start out in a program and they stick with it over time and build a habit and over time become that fit person that they want to be and maintain those habits the rest of their life? And why do some people start out strong and then fall off the wagon? What we've learned is there's a couple key elements and a lot of things that reminded me was I'm rereading a book called The One Thing because we try to narrow this down because we're working with very busy professional clients to the one exercise fact and the one nutrition fact that will give them the biggest return on their investment of time and the one thing. And so what you have to look at when you're looking at starting out in a exercise program and you're trying to build some momentum, it's almost like all of your efforts are really on the very front end. Just like if you've ever seen a rocket take off, a rocket uses about 80% of its fuel to get off the pad and just get up into the atmosphere. And then it uses the last 20% of its fuel to push itself out to where there's less resistance. And that's why that first four to six weeks in our program you're using so much self-discipline to get off that pad and build that habit. And the faster that you can build that habit of showing up, that one thing, because that's the key to exercise is consistency over time. The faster you can build that habit, the less self-discipline that you'll need. And that's why we have people focus in, if you're looking at exercise, what is the most important thing is the showing up habit. That is the consistency of showing up three, four times a week consistently over time is what builds that habit. And that's what gives you the return on your investment. And it doesn't really matter what you do because some days you may lift weights, some days you may swim, some days you may walk around the park, but that gets the reinforces the habit of showing up. And that's how you get results. And the best thing is, and most people won't tell you in fitness, is the first year or two, it doesn't really matter what you do. You'll get some crazy ass results just because you're doing so much more than you used to do. That's the key. So you want to, as quickly as you can, focus in. You're going to have to use some self-discipline in the beginning because you're going to run into resistance. But focusing in on that one thing when it comes to exercise and building that habit will get you there more quickly than any other time. And over time, it takes less self-discipline to build that habit. So what you have to do also is a re some research came out because I want to give you an idea of how long, and the bad news is it takes longer than you would like it to be. At research at the University College of London in 2009 asked the question, how long does it take to establish a new habit? They were looking for the moment when a new behavior becomes automatic or ingrained, the point of automaticity or well automatic city automaticity came when the participants were 95 percent through the power curve and the effort needed to sustain it was about as low as it could get where it's just autumn i just get up in the morning i put my shoes on i go to the gym i get off work i go to the gym i put my workout clothes on and that's what we do with clients is they get to the door they put in their code they put their stuff in the locker they go to the cardio deck their coach comes to them they walk in the door, they put their stuff in the locker, they go to the cardio deck, their coach comes to them. We want to keep it as simple as humanly possible. The less they have to think about, the better. The less you have to think about, the better. And what they found was it takes about an average of 66 days to acquire a new habit. The full range was 18 to 254 days with the easier behaviors taking fewer days on average and the tougher ones taking longer. It's very individualized. I've had people addicted and will not stop working out after they get through that first six to eight weeks. And on the outside, it takes about a year. We're on the larger end because why? Because the exercise habit, even though it's a hard habit to establish, the benefits are greater than any other drug, than any other food, than any other, than any other habit that you can establish in your lifetime. Because there's carryover when you establish an exercise habit. You think better thoughts. You tend to make better food choices. You have better relationships with your children, your spouse, and your loved ones. You take more actions every day towards your positive 
goals. You smoke less, you drink more water, you, eat, you drink less soft drinks, you eat less junk food. There's no downside. There's so much carryover to the exercise habit. It's the number one habit that anyone could instill in their lives to benefit their lives in the long run. And you'll live longer and healthier and happier. But you have to focus in that first four to six weeks with the showing up habit so you have, can use less self-discipline. It's been proven through research over time. That way it becomes the habit. And the sooner it becomes a habit, the better off you'll do. And that's my Friday. It's kind of heavy for a Friday. Usually we're talking about trying to stay on track over the weekend, but this is what we want to do is how to go from discipline as quickly as possible to habit. And it's by showing up consistently over time. And if you like this video, like it, share it, comment below. I'm Dave Fanning with the Body Form Personal Training Fitness Bootcamps. If you'd like to set up a consult or have, have more questions, you can private message me here on Facebook. Hope you guys have a great day.